So talk us through first uh, the change in the 10-year Treasury call to 1.5%. What got you there? Well, it took a couple of weeks to do it. We, we didn't just come up with it one morning and decide, let's change the number. And in, in a way, it should have been done a few weeks ago because we're, I feel like I'm chasing the market, which is the last thing I want to do. Um, for us, it's quite unusual to have a bond yield forecast that at any point is, a, is above the current spot rate. So our old forecast was getting out of date and the market had started to move so some of it was catching up but the other the other thing is is, is that we're trying to work back from where we think neutral is so central bankers are trying to guide to some some semblance of neutrality and i imagine over the very long term it's around a two percent nominal policy rate that's close to zero real uh, now to, to achieve that they need to be loose now so that, that means rate cuts come through now, bond yields go lower now to make it possible to get to that uh, neutral rate in the future. So, so 1.5 we think is consistent with um, the, the Fed's policy guidance and, and the incoming information on inflation.